Okay, so Keith, what we're going to be doing in this lesson is we're going to be talking about dilations. All right, now, previously, ladies and gentlemen, what we have talked about is, this is not the time, not the time. Yes? Is this like a new, like, Yes. This, no, 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 this is, in this, this is the last, last section in our folder. Oh, your test is right there. So, yeah, calculated. So um, <coughs> what we're going to be doing is talking about, um, talking about our dilations based on our previous transformations. Now, our previous transformations, ladies and gentlemen, we've talked about reflections, right? Yeah. We talked about, and this is kind of going back to the homework quiz, we've talked about reflections, we talked about translations, and we talked about rotations. But what's important about those, those are all non-rigid, where what happened is all of those figures were the exact same shape and size. No matter what we did to them, their shape and size remained intact, right? Nothing changed. Does everybody agree? Everybody agree with what we did before. When we did all those different rotations and transformations, nothing changed the shape or the size of the figure. So now we're going to talk about dilations, which is going to affect the size and the shape. So a dilation is a transformation. that enlarges or reduces an image from its original shape. Okay. Now I'll talk about that in a little bit in a second. But it's going to either enlarge it or reduce it. So let's go and break those down kind of thing. Now enlarge, OK? When we enlarge something, now this is going to be talking about proportions. And we haven't really talked too much about scale factors, but we're going to get into that a little bit later. <coughs> but when, we have, when we're enlarging something, that means we're creating something that's going to be bigger. OK? It's going to have the same shape, but it's, but it's going to have a larger size. <coughs> so when we enlarge something, our scale factor, all right, our scale factor is going to be greater than 1. And we'll talk about that when we create our ratios. But the ratios between the sides of the image compared to the original size is going to be greater than 1. Then we look for reduce. And we look for a scale factor reduction, our k is going to be less than 1. And again, I'll talk a little bit more about what k is and how we're going to find k and so forth in a little bit. But you guys just want to have that information already written down. Okay? So let's at least get a, kind of get an idea. You know, how are we going to find figures that are going to be larger <coughs> or smaller, but have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size? Which means, do you guys notice that word essay? Same shape, but not necessarily the same size. Therefore, dilations are going to be similar. Similar, very good. So let's just take a quick little look. Um, an x and a y axis? Yeah. You can do it. You'll be all right. So let's go ahead and draw a triangle better known as a triangle. John, take that out, please. Thank you. So when we're going to look at a triangle, to create a dilation, we're going to go from a dilation from a fixed point, all right, from a dilated point. So we're going to start at the origin for this case. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line that's going to go through each and every one of those points. Okay. And what we're going to use is those lines are going to allow us to create the exact same figure that's going to be similar to it. All right. So therefore, if I wanted to draw one down here, you can see that figure roughly is the exact same shape, but it's about half its size, right? So that would be what we call a reduction. If this is my original, here A would be what we call a reduction. All right. I want to be A, not R. 
I'm just giving names to the triangles. I'm giving that as the original. So therefore, a reduction, I'm just giving it the name A. It can be B, C, D, E. It can be anything. But I'm just going to call it A for this case. And the next one I'll call B. All right? And B, you can see that B has the same shape and size. But that one's much larger. Or not the same shape, but not, not the same size. That one's larger. That is what we call an enlargement, where the scale factor is going to be greater than 1. All right? Anybody have any questions on that? Yes, Colin. The O triangle is 1? Is your original. That's like the original shape. So what we're doing is from this shape, we're either going <coughs> to shrink it, reduce it, or we're going to enlarge it. But this is the original, yes. right? Because yes. remember when we did like transformations, I would say, like, hey, Here's your triangle. Uh, now reflect it, right? And then you said, say, oh, OK. Be like this. Remember, this was like A, and that's A prime, right? Well, that's the same thing. Here's A. This would be now your new like A prime, and that would be like an A double prime. Like That's your transformation. This is the original. That doesn't change, right? What we're going to do is we're going to do dilations that are going to make it bigger. So it's going to be an A, but it's going to be a new A. And then down here, that point would be a new A, right? So this is just your original, what we're going to base everything off of. OK? Anybody have any other questions? Jared, anything else? No? Good? OK. So what I'd like.